Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Gabriela Kurashi, and I would like to talk to you today about heart disease. Every single day, every single minute, we lose a person to heart disease. To be exact, according to the CDC, every 36 seconds, we lose somebody because of their heart. The person dies. Right now, it's 36 seconds since I started this video, we just lost the third person to heart disease. Heart disease is the leading cause of that in the United States. And in a few more seconds, we are going to lose another person. The minutes go by really quickly and it is devastating to think that right now, in a few seconds, we lose another person for heart disease. If we think of the whole wide world, then 18 million people die each year of, of heart disease, according to the World Health Organization. And that is 32% of all the deaths. And it is more like cardiovascular diseases, so there's multiple different disease categories goes into that. But 80 million deaths over the world, that is a lot of deaths to heart disease and cardiovascular diseases. What causes heart disease? There's, there's many different things. It could be genetic. Um, diabetes, unhealthy diet, um, just being overweight, not being active, drinking alcohol are some of the contributing factors. If you imagine your arteries and they are running around all over your body, right? The arteries are inside and around your heart and they build up plaque in the arteries. So you have your arteries <coughs> going and then all of a sudden there's less and less and less and less and less room because there's a plaque buildup. And when that happens, a person receives warning signs there could be pain in the chest, there could be pain in the jaw, in the back, in your arm going down. Many times there's signs that come before, like shortness of breath, difficulty doing different activities, daily activities in your, in your life, pain, chest pain, kind of heaviness feeling, which we also call angina, that does not go away. Our hearts are truly, truly amazing. If you think about a heart, each and every tiny little cell in a heart can beat on its own, which is just a miracle in itself. And our hearts are usually just as big as your fist. So this is how big my heart is. So if you put your fists together, that's how big your heart is. Um, and they are continuously going. I've been talking here for about four minutes. So my heart beats between 60 to 70 beats per minute. So while I'm just talking here, it done hundreds and hundreds of beats and it's just keep going and mixing bringing in the blood and then pumping it out to the whole body. Can you even just imagine having your fist and continuously going like this? That's what our heart does. It's just pumping. It never stops. It keeps going, 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 going. And when it stops, we die. Some people receive pacemakers. If your heart slows down enough, that you're not able to do 
your daily activities and you're very tired all the time, you might be eligible for a pacemaker. And that helps with your heart. Some people have arrhythmias that your heart is all over the place. They are not beating regularly. Um, when a heart beats regularly, we call that a normal sinus rhythm. Um, if you look at an EKG, it looks regular. It has certain waves that are repeating and there's no issues. If a heart is out of the rhythm, then we can have some problems. Um, uh, somebody might need certain medications or lifestyle changes or a pacemaker or a defibrillator implanted to be able to continue their life. Um, there's many lifestyle changes that you can do to take care of your heart. Keeping hydrated is a really good one. Of course, if you have chronic heart failure, you have to make sure that you don't also drink too much. But keeping your heart and your kidneys happy is good to drink about uh, 64 ounces of water a day. Also, limiting too much fat in your diet um, can really help your heart because the fat builds up those blockages in your arteries. There's certain amount of fats that we need for our body to function, but too much of anything is not good, of course. Getting out and taking a walk is really good for your heart. Um, walking in nature, walk every day if you can, or do other physical activities that just gets you moving. That is really healthy to your heart. In today's society, one of the most difficult things that I see that people struggle with, um, and I had worked in this area for a long time too, is addiction. And drinking is definitely not good for your heart. And some people might not realize that they are addicted to alcohol until they'll actually look back in their life and say, oh yes, every day. I drink. Um, can you stop? If you can stop drinking every day and you're fine, you're not dealing with an addiction. If you can't, if you have to have multiple beers or multiple glass of wine every night when you go home or whatever is your choice, you are dealing with an addiction and alcohol is really bad for your heart. So it is really important to try to get that under control if you can. It is difficult, as I said, in our society because many occasions are tied to, oh, let's have a drink. Let's go out, let's have fun, let's have a drink. I talked about drinking and addiction in many other videos and I also wrote a book about on the topic. And when it comes to your heart, drinking is just really not good for you. I'm not saying never, ever drink. If, if there's a special occasion and you have a glass of wine or champagne, yeah, that's fine. But if you're doing it every day, every single day, and multiple glasses, multiple bottles, and you cannot do without it, that's certainly a problem. Stopping alcohol is a great thing that you could do for your heart. I personally have experienced many times if people go out and I say, no, I don't want to drink anything. Sometimes you might get certain looks, but I think that might be changing a little bit in our society. Because I'm meeting more and more people who just say, no, I don't drink. And that is okay. So if you want to accept the person, how they are, um, you know, it is okay not to drink. Genetic information. So if you do know that your family 
your immediate family or even your grandparents, great grandparents, parents, sisters, brothers, have any issues going on in their heart, it is just something to absolutely watch for or get also tested for if you can. Many times heart disease or high cholesterol, those kind of things run in the family, high blood pressure. So if you know that you do have that risk factor, um, watch your body more carefully, um, do testing if you can, and take care of your heart. Also, enjoy your heart. Be grateful for your heart. Talk to your heart. There are heart meditations specifically and deep breathing exercises that are also really helpful for your heart. Unfortunately, when heart disease starts, it is hard to turn that back. There are certain things that you can do to decrease the high blood pressure and change your diet so you don't have those plaque buildups. Some type of heart diseases like heart failure, we can't turn back. There are things you can do following your provider um, advice, naturopath advice to to be healthier but heart failure is not reversible so if you do get that diagnosis it is really important to follow the directions of your provider and follow your heart you know we all know what makes us feel good, good, what is good for our heart, what is good for our body. So try to say no to the things that you know it's bad for you. And certain foods that might look really good are not really good for us as well as the alcohol uh, or of course any type of substances can really hurt your heart. Smoking is another thing. Um, that's why when you go to cardiologist, the first thing they would ask, do you smoke and can you stop? And I made a few videos about smoking too before, and I also write about it in the addiction book. Smoking is extremely addictive. It is one of the hardest things to stop. And I talk to many people about that. And you can't force somebody to stop, but you can be there for them if they are ready to stop. And I think instead of kind of like a punishing or blaming attitude, we can approach heart disease just like anything else in life. Enjoy the small victories. You went for a walk today, amazing. Celebrate that. You were able to do more today than yesterday. Celebrate that. Did you eat or drink something healthy today? Celebrate that. Give yourself a break. Life is hard. Heart disease is really hard. It's hard to get the diagnosis, it is stressful, so then it puts you in a cycle when your body and your mind might want to go to something that's comforting and whatever is comforting might not be the best thing for you. Another thing, do a meditation. You can look one up online. I, I did a few, if you like to look at mine. Breathe into your heart. Again, just enjoy your heart. It gives us life. It, it pumps blood throughout our whole body. Imagine again this tiny little fist 
is so strong that it's keep pumping, 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 pumping. <laughs> and it brings the blood. It just brings blood all the way from your body, pumps it up to your head, down to your feet. It is truly amazing, isn't it? So in honor of Heart Month, I wanted to talk to you about our hearts. And then if you have any question, please post them below. I'm happy to answer what I can. Look up information about your heart. Talk to your doctor. Do good things for your heart. Thank you for checking out my video and listening to me about talking about our hearts. I'm sending a lot of love to you from my heart to yours. And please do one thing today that's good for your heart. Take a few nice deep breaths and imagine your heart pumping blood all over your body and keeping you alive. Take a nice walk outside. Talk to somebody who you love because our heart does have emotional feelings too besides the physical needs. Eat some berries. Our heart love red foods. Beets and berries and currants. It loves anything that's red. That is coming from the natural world. Meats, of course. Try to reduce those. Too much meat is not good for our heart. Thank you so much for listening. This was Checking Out Your Heart with Gabriella. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.